And let me ask about money, because you guys talked about money. All right. First of all, stem cell, uh, rather, this therapy, gene therapy, sounds expensive. Bone marrow transplant sounds expensive. The, 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 the drug therapy sounds less expensive than it. Well, where, how do you put all this together? I want to comment on, on uh, the selection of patients for gene therapy. So far, the European agency which approved the gene therapy as a drug, the gene therapy is approved as a normal drug, they actually point out that if a patient has a, a, blood, a donor for the bone marrow transplantation, he has to go through bone marrow transplantation okay. first probably because of the cost also, and because of, say, uh, I mean, safety. Uh, how much bone marrow cost nowadays is a really a very feasible procedure everywhere, and I have to tell you that in developing countries, there are few centers, but there are, who perform bone marrow transplantation for $5,000 or something like that. In Europe, no? So that is quite feasible. Gene therapy has been registered in Europe, uh, is on the web, so I'm not aware, for 1,800,000 euro for each uh, gene therapy. Okay. And uh, with, I don't know about uh, pharma, uh, Los Paters, what will be the cost. Uh, will not be cheap, uh, of course, uh, and the difference between gene therapy and pharmacological treatment is that pharmacological treatment has, in any case, uh, to go on most probably for life. If you cure a patient with gene therapy, that is a shot and that's done. It's one so shot versus one shot. ongoing. So that's, that's right. where the curative versus non-curative. So we have actually two curative therapies here. Bone marrow transplant, gene therapy. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, again, we have to, bone marrow transplant, gene therapy is bone marrow transplant with your own bone marrow. But so gene therapy I, is more comers, not, if not all comers. Well, right now it's very new. And, yeah. and there is a, and a lot of this uh, stuff remains to be worked out and how the logistics of this are, gonna, yeah. are going to work. I, I, I don't think that gene therapy will be performed as bone marrow transplantation in any bone marrow center, trans, mm, center because it requires a, a special uh, uh, environment, but also what I personally believe uh, will be very important is a street connection. We mentioned also yesterday during the session between physician who took care of the patients uh, and uh, those uh, a colleague who performed the, uh, the, the, the tri tri transplant because actually this is essential to have a good outcome and uh, taking that in account uh, children are the best candidates. Yeah. Let's select who the right patients are to, yeah. to Don't offer. You always will, will be yeah. essential. Yeah. And I think one of the other points is uh, as I mentioned uh, the outcomes with even unrelated donor transplant and, and haplo yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, haplos, uh, which uh, we leave out of the discussion, the outcome is really very good. I mean, similar to, close to that of siblings. And so I don't want to get into this big discussion, but you know, you could discuss, I mean, as, as uh, in Europe, they've said if you have a, a donor, uh, then you don't go to gene therapy. So I, I think there is some discussion about which way to go. and. Um, especially if uh, un unrelated donor transplant, uh, uh, the outcomes are so good. Now, you can't always find an unrelated donor, which is also an issue. So I think the key thing for gene therapy, the, in my opinion, the best indication is you can't find a donor, okay. either sibling or unrelated, that, that's good. We won't do an unrelated donor transplant that isn't at least 10 out of 10 match. Yeah. Okay. And so if you have an 8 or 9 out of 10, then that we don't do that because we think the risk is too high. Is there probably a safe... A I'm sorry, go ahead. And probably older as well, too. So if they, yeah. they, they didn't have a, a SIB match and they're older, um, because you don't want to be doing bone marrow transplants when they're old because of the increased risk of complications. Right. Is there a safety difference between... I'm going to make the distinction between gene therapy and bone marrow transplant, knowing your... Your caveat. Is there a safety difference that we know of at this point between these two procedures? 
We haven't done enough gene therapy yet, yeah, but it probably, I would say, not much difference between un, mass unrelated and, 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 and gene, gene therapy. Some, te technically speaking, I don't see really a huge difference between the two. But as uh, Sajid said, uh, we don't have uh, much experience on gene therapy. I think that the first patient on gene therapy uh, is uh, more than five years, but uh, that was a unique case. And now these are two or three, two or three years. So. The, the, I think you know, what we mentioned when you're comparing the two between autologous and allogeneic yeah. is the, the graft versus host disease, the rejection risk, and the immunosuppression risk. That seems so to favor gene therapy. That favors gene therapy, yes. Right. What we don't know about gene therapy is long-term outcomes and durability. Because we just aren't there yeah, yet. Right. Okay. Right. So, but otherwise, the conditioning is pretty much the same. Yeah. You get myeloablative conditioning for both of them, though there are some non-myeloablative approaches in the allogeneic stem cell transplant world. Not the best results so far, but there, you know, people are trying to reduce the intensity of the, of the chemotherapy so that, you know, maybe you could be fertile after that. Maybe you have fewer complications related to the, the, the mm -hmm. um, chemotherapy. A lot of the worry about a secondary malignancy after chemotherapy is also dose dependent. And sometimes if you can reduce the dose, maybe you have a, a, a lower chance of getting a secondary malignancy as well. So there's, there's a lot of moving parts in, in, on both sides, I think, at this point. There, uh, there is a still a restriction based on the European registration for gene therapy for patients who are beta zero, beta, uh, no, sorry, non beta zero, beta zero, which doesn't mean that the results produced so far are in patients uh, with less severe mutation. I personally believe that this is a point uh, which uh, will be overcome, improving the technology, but that is uh, still a restriction. 